those are the things that gets me motivated and helping the other people that's coming along as well. So it's an everyday giving back mm-hmm. and not taking for granted. Yeah. So can I share of one course. story yeah. about, I guess this would like kind of explain how I remain motivated. So there's this um, little old lady. She lives here in Dallas and I have knocked on her door. So this was a foreclosure. It was also a reverse mortgage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So her husband had passed on. She was in mourning and she was getting foreclosed on. And uh, the house that she owned or really didn't own because he died without a will was getting foreclosed on in three weeks. Oh, wow. So knock on her door. She's hopeless. She's freaking out. And um, I kind of start explaining what her options are. And her house is worth 270000 Needs 30000 in repairs. You know, it's an old house. Needs a bunch of repairs. But it's got good bones. And she doesn't have 30000 She's on Social Security. And she doesn't have the payoff, which is another hundred and twenty k. Right? But if you do the math, if you can sell a house for 270000 and it, you can buy it for one twenty plus 30K in repairs, you can make a lot of money on it, right? Yeah. So what I offered her is I would take a 10% commission on the final sales price of the house, and I would pay for everything. I'd pay off the reverse mortgage, and I would pay for all of the repairs, and she would get all of the profit after my 10% commission. That was the only thing she had in her life was the house. She was about to lose it. So we were able to stop the foreclosure. We were able to open a probate case for her and move through probate. And now we're flipping the house and she's going to make all of the profit. And I'm going to make a decent chunk of money. How much money do you think she's going to make? So doing the math, 270,000 times 0.18. So that's 48,000 that just goes away in expenses. And then the 150, um, okay, so 270 minus 48 equals 222 yeah. minus the 150. Um, so about 72,000. So she's, she's going to be making. Yeah. So when you knock on a door like this, and there is a lot of homework, a lot of knowledge that you have it to have as an investor to go in continue to get to know her story, go through Mm -hmm. probate, working through the entire process, Mm -hmm. and then do a fix and flip. And you're pretty much helping her more here than yourself. How much money are you making? So 10% of 270, 27,000. So how long is it taking you to make 27K? Six to nine months. Is your kids, how are they reacting with you today versus the before. Okay, so now I don't have a, a real job anymore. Oh, yeah. I work for now myself, you just hang out. All right. So now um, with my youngest, he's five, uh, one defining moment in my life, and it seems very small, but it's important to me, is that I was able to drop him off at pre K and pick him up the same day. I was normally at work. I'd never do that, right? Yeah. So it was nice to spend extra time with my kids during the day. And if I want to take a day off, You know, I can help them with their homework. We can go to the park. We can do whatever and spend that quality time with them because you're never going to get your time back. Yeah. You're going to grow up quick. You'll be gone. And they do grow up fast. Now I do understand that because I see it. And be able to do that, uh, you know, being there for your kids when they get sick or when they get emotional. When And that's when we realize as a parent how much we are not there for them when we are not working for ourselves yeah because i was working 40 60 hour weeks at a 45 minute commute when i had a real job right and <laughs> how much were you make on that real job uh on your monthly yeah days? so i was annual uh i was making 104k per year plus employee uh stock purchase plan plus vested stock so i was making about 125 a year great insurance what is your salary right now and i know it, it depends on how much effort you put it in on your marketing and on you know if you don't take a two weeks vacation <coughs> um but what is your monthly income right now talking about net worth yes my net worth increase since i've done real estate just started year and nine months ago has increased 1.77 million since 
one year, nine months ago, whether that be liquid assets like cash, retirement, and equity in houses. So that's my net worth. That's my wealth, 1.77 million increase. My passive income on an annual basis, $54,000. If I never did anything else in investment, if I just kept my buy and holds, my passive income is 54000 per year.